everyone, welcome to our third art history class. Today we're going to talk about the Greek myth of Perseus, so get ready to meet some wonderful Greek heroes, gods and monsters. Son of Zeus and Danae, Perseus was a half-mortal that was going to have a very adventurous life. Of course, Zeus didn't see him grow, nor did he live with his mom, Danae. Instead, both Perseus and his mom moved to the island of Seriphus, where the king Polydictus welcomed them and soon fell in love with Danae. When Perseus grew up and found out that Polydictus wanted to marry his mom, he opposed, and Polydictus needed to find a plan. He pretended that he had proposed to Hippodamia, the lady that you see here, and told Perseus that he was going to have to bring him the head of Medusa as a gift for his marriage. And of course he knew that he was sending Perseus straight to death. After all, even a single glance from the snake-haired monster was able to turn a man into stone. But the gods helped him. Hermes, that you see here, gave him his sandals and his sickle and Athena gave him a shield, and then some nymphs gave him the cap of invisibility. And so Perseus, looking at Medusa from her reflection on Athena's shield, because remember, he couldn't look at her eyes, otherwise he would have been turned into stone, but looking at the reflection he was able to cut her head, and then, aware that Medusa's head was still powerful, and able to turn people into stone, he put it in his magic bag and flew away with Hermes' sandals while Medusa's sisters were running after him. And some say that to emulate the cry of the sisters of Medusa, Athena invented the Aulos, the double pipe that this lady is playing here. After some other adventures, Perseus went back to Seriphus, to his mom and to Polydictis, and found out that the king not only had never married, but that since Perseus had left, he had started harassing his mom. He, of course, became furious and decided to take Medusa's head and her powerful gaze to petrify Polydictis. At this point, Perseus no longer needed the head of Medusa, and decided to give it to Athena, who placed it at the center of her shield. And this is the end of our third art history class about the myth of Perseus. I hope that this little story allowed you to travel with your imagination a little bit, especially now that you're stuck at home. Bye!